Castile, Spain, 19th century. Somewhere between Burgos and Segovia. Maria is late to her next destination. And the sun is going down. Well, here I am, fulfilling my dream on a lousy road. The next village seems to be pretty far away. And the night is coming. Therefore, I need a shelter for tonight. Hey, perhaps that old lady knows a place where I could stay. Hi, good evening. Hi, little girl. Where are you going so late? Who are you? And what are you doing on this dirt road at sundown? My name is Juana. I'm just passing through. I'm heading out to investigate the legends of Castile so I can become a nun. Oh, you wouldn't believe why. You want to become a nun? But you are way too young, little girl. Why would someone like you have such a dream? Well, a few days ago, I was walking out with my friends and having fun. When I had an urge to go to the toilet, I walked out of the wine cellar. And I had a vision of the Virgin Mary. I saw the light. Are you sure that's what you saw? Uh, what else could that have been? After that, I went to the convent at Burgos. And I met my future mother superior, who told me that if I want to become a nun, I'll have to investigate the magic creatures that have been appearing all around Castile. And bring her proof of their existence. It's a rather strange quest, but I'm determined to do it so I can fulfill my dream. Okay. But be careful through the paths, little girl. There are legends you wouldn't like to face. What is your name, little girl? If you don't mind. My name is Maria de Salazar, and I'm from Aranda de Duero, a, a town in the province of Burgos. De Salazar? That's interesting, little girl. I think I've heard that somewhere before. I, I don't know. I highly doubt it. My family is very humble. Could you please tell me where I could stay overnight? Hmm. Yes, child. That house behind you would be perfect for you. Oh! I didn't know if it'd be safe to get closer to the house. Thank you. Yes, it would. But please be careful with the surroundings. What do you know about the folk who lives there? There lives Manolo. I know him by sight. He's a shepherd. They say he sometimes hosts travelers. Oh, great! My luck is finally changing. Do you think he will host me? Hmm, from what I've been told, he's very stubborn. 
You'll have to please him somehow for him to house you for the night. Don't worry. I'm so pleasant he will let me stay in a flash. Do you think he will host me? Hmm, from what I Don't worry. What's dangerous in these surroundings, apart from the wolves at night? Some people tell of a legend that there was an Ojoranko in this area many years ago. Ojoranko? What's that? Sounds like something I'm not going to like. An Ojoranko is a kind of cyclops that some folks say inhabits Segovia's woods. A monster? A cyclops? I don't believe it, madam. That's superstitious nonsense. Incredulous girl. If you don't believe me, look at the symbol in that road sign. About this signpost, I don't recognize this strange sign. We'll meet again soon enough. <laughs> oh, heck. Where did she go? Here we go with the strange things. I'd better look for shelter before the wolves come out. It seems that the stone broke the window. Oh, how clumsy I am. Hey! It seems there is now someone downstairs. I'm sure they will hear me now. sir are you the vandal who broke my window with a stone yes sir it wasn't on purpose I'm so sorry but it's a life or death situation I need to stay in your shack shack get out of here punk I 
promise that if you host me, I'll do the laundry tomorrow. I'm sure you don't like my shack. Goodbye. You again, girl. I'll give you one more chance to show me some respect. But this is the... Have I already told you that I love your house? Hmm. That's better. Who are you and what do you want? I'm a pre-novice. I'm not from here, and I need a place to spend the night. This is no place for God-fearing people. You'd better leave. Let me stay at your house, please. I promise I won't bother you. And what do I get out of this? I'll give you all this money. I don't want your dirty money from the city. I'll help you with any tasks you need. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you could help me shear my sheep. And I'll also paint the wall by your shack. <laughs> What? You again, girl, but this... Have I... Hmm. Let me stay at your house. And what do... I'll help you with... Hmm. And I'll bring you breakfast in the morning, too. Okay, I'll host you. Follow me. The next morning, after eight hours of sleep. Mm. Just a couple more minutes, Bob. Huh. Get your dirty hands off me, you scoundrel! Okay, okay, I'm up. I could have slept all day. Well, let's see what tasks I have promised to do for the owner, and then do them quickly, so I can continue on my way. Hmm. Oh, now I remember. I promise to bring him breakfast and help him shear his sheep. So, I will need some breakfast, an instrument for shearing, a container for the wool. Let's get to work.
Well, well, I'm leaving this. Wait a minute. The door. I'll have to go out through the stable door. scattered around the house again and oh my god How don't take this personally but you look like a garden gnome we are not gnomes you two-legged donkey and you look like an ordinary snatcher from the most backwater town in the kingdom we Little enemies. And we have come to make your life impossible. Are you going to fly very fast around me? Or what are you going to do? Maybe. Are you going to tickle me, perhaps? <laughs> hey, do not bite me. Who sent you? 
Where did you come from? We came out of that pot. We were distracted by the spider on the ceiling. You're getting on my nerves. I don't know what a little enemy is. We are family imps. Very interesting, but I have... You don't happen to know where the lighter is, do you? If you read a bit more, you wouldn't be so profoundly ignorant. You can stop with the downstairs library. You don't... If you... You're the meanest of the... Ow! I won't turn into a goblin now. Or... You won't be so lucky. I have to go. You never make it, you shoddy cook. Hello, little monster. What are you supposed to be? They call us Lillen. Could you repeat? Listen, you. And maybe. We are known by many names. Uhanos, Mozoros. Ahem. Is this? Minairons, Pautos. Uh, really? I I'm in a hurry. I don't. Diaploron, Nemos, and Cremate. Those are some. <laughs> Do not think that telling us nice things you will get you something nice from us. Demons. Who sent you? Where did you... The story begins in Burgos. It was a cold winter night when a married couple... Oh, there he goes again. That's what I get for asking a story. The husband was about to go to bed. But his wife went first. While he stayed by the fireplace for a moment. That happened to my cousin, too. Later, it turned out that her husband was writing letters to other girls. The husband noticed that there was a pot on the fireplace. And, out of curiosity, he opened it. Then the man began to feel a stinging in his legs. Of some invisible enemies. And that was you three, right? That's right, human. And that's how the story ends? It's a bit bland, isn't it? Of course the story ends like that. Damn human. Did you expect a happy ending? I don't believe you. Let's talk about something else. Very interesting, but I have more questions. Hey, what have you done with the ingredients? We have improved them. In the Guild of Enemies, we think that the original recipe is too simple. I'm sure this will help you learn the recipe. We did it for your own good. <laughs> Damn little enemies. What did you say, human? Uh, nothing. I wonder if you are not a product of my imagination. If you want, I'll bite you so we can check. Mm, no, better not. It's just that I haven't eaten since yesterday. And maybe I'm having visions. This can't be true. If you keep talking nonsense, I might bite you anyway. Don't tell me. You are the smart one. You have some intuition for a small town girl without an ounce of magic. I have to go. Good luck. You're gonna need it. My name is Baria. And who are you? Lil... Lil Len. And what is that? We are your worst nightmare. It's pronounced... Little human, don't get... You'll never fin... Calm down, calm down, pretty little enemy. Who sent you? Where did you come from? 
Your mistress locked us in this tiny jar of paprika. Your mistress? Who has such a thing? Our mistress is a witch, the most powerful in all of Castile. What? A witch? Do witches also exist? Well, I thought they were only in children's stories. <laughs> if witches and magic don't exist, what are we doing here? Hmm. That makes sense. Oops, I've said too much. Forget I said that. Very interesting, but I have more questions. Have you seen any Oharankanos in the area? Oharanko? But don't worry. He will find you. I don't believe they exist, actually. Little human looks confident. The graveyards are full of confident people. I'm not afraid. You are the fool of the three, aren't you? Uh, you shut up, little human. Or I'll bite you in places you don't even know the name of. Oops, I take it back, I take it back. You were so smart. That's better, little human. Actually... I'm very bad at cooking. Our mistress gave us the day off. So you start cooking, and we will laugh. <laughs> well... to go finish the recipe. No, oh, you have a tough little human.
Damn leprechaun. Holy chapel for me, sacrosanct. Lil enemies, get out. Never return here again. But you... How do you know that? Ah! No! Ah! Now that we're starting to like you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Take that, little enemies. Hey! It looks like they've left their little hats, which means I have the first item from the Legends of Castile. As soon as I get out of here, I'll take it to Mother Superior. I'm finally done with the recipe. Now I just have to wait. Long enough to cook Castilian soup later. everything I need. I better run and find the owner of the house so I can give it to him. So I can leave here as soon as possible and continue on my way. Well, well, I think I'm leaving this. Wait a minute. The I'll have to go out through the stable door. Here I go. Finally, I can...
Thank you.